Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the mess. So I'm in the process of creating a craft studio downstairs, moving all of my supplies from my son's bedroom, where it became a mess, to create a room downstairs. So part of it is organizing my extensive collection of ribbon that was driving me crazy. I had it in a lot of these big bins and all of these round things roll around everywhere and it makes a mess. So this is not my idea. I actually went on YouTube and someone showed me how they organized all of their ribbon by putting them onto little things and, and attach it with a rubber band. So you can see I've started here and then you can sort them by color. It gets really, really fun. There we go. So I'm just going to show you how what I use supplies from home. I was using index cards folded in half, but I'm running out. So I saved my last index card for a template and I'm just using some old scrap paper that I had started some artwork or whatever. I'm just reusing it. Okay. So what I do is um, let's start with a scrap and just use a tiny piece of tape. And let's see, we'll do this one. Okay. So now some people have organization systems where they have all these rolls lined up and everything but they just roll around and I just can't do it so I take my index card since that has paint and stuff and I don't want to see that I fold it in half well this isn't really an index card it's a piece of watercolor nice thick paper cut to the size of an index card sorry I should move it over here some more Okay, and then I fold it in half so that it's nice and thick. All right, I take a tiny piece, tiny piece of tape. Okay, and find the end. Here's the open side. So when I tape it, put it close to the edge, and I do two things with my tiny piece of tape. I hold down the end, and I also close that. Okay, now when I'm winding, I do it like this. I flip my card over and there's a reason if if I do it like this every time I go around my card it makes a loop in my ribbon and then it's all twisted up so I figured out that if I just go like this the ribbon comes nicely off the spool okay I'll just finish this one up And then when I get to the end, I was using, you could, okay, now that's annoying with the piece of tape. So I go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, because I don't want that tape at the end. I was doing a pin to hold it, but then um, I, I found, because you know I have a lot of stuff, a whole box of rubber bands. So I'd find a rubber band of the appropriate size and Oh, if it's too big, then I just double it. Okay, and I throw it on my pile of stuff. So here's all the ones that I've done this morning. Matt, you want to be in my video? You want to say hi? I'm making a video for my craft room. Say hi to everybody. He just came upstairs and wants to know what I'm doing. So I'm here wallowing in the mess. I'm get, making a video on how I'm organizing my ribbon, honey. So here's all the... I am talking to my to my iPad, I'm not crazy. Here's all the ones. Here's my bag of rubber bands. Now these are ones that are two, maybe only a yard long. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with all my scraps. I stuff them in a jar and save them for another time. Okay, so this is just what's going on in ribbon world. Okay, I've already done jewelry world. Um, I'll give you a quick tour of the beads. It's embarrassing because my living room is such a wreck, but here you go. Okay, over there is glue and tape and stencils. And then over here is my paper collection. Ugh, I need to um, organize all that. Here's all my journals. Oh, Lord, I have a problem. 
there's all the spools of ribbon. These are, I get rid of all of these spools because these are from all the ribbons I organized and a few I'm actually letting go. And then over here, ooh, there's all my beads. Doesn't that look cool? All sorted. I should have done a video on sorting my beads, but you can see that I save jars and stuff. So there's a quick, just a quick video today about organizing ribbon, everybody. Um, let's go back and focus on that. And then um, where's my... Here's the one. Now, when I watched the video, I saw people started to sort them by color. So you can kind of see I have a little bit of a, a rainbow going on right here because I was just playing with it last night because it was fun. So um, there you go. This is how I'm organizing my ribbon. It's been driving me crazy for years. And while I'm talking about ribbon, I'll show you some of my vintage. Vintage means old and I'm saving it. Two thousand years. So this in 1999, I was really, really, really into the whole um, time capsule thing. So this is my ribbon I saved from the millennium. Twenty years ago now I've had it. Wow. I'm not a hoarder. I'm a collector. OK, everybody, have a great day. I hope um, you enjoyed watching me organize some of my gear. Ooh, it's actually really fun. OK, have a great day, everybody. And if you watched, thank you for watching. I love you. Have a nice day.